What do I love about science? Uh, for me, uh, I think it, it's that ability to be able to answer questions that no one else is answering. It's, it's amazing to have, you hear people talk about these eureka moments where you can go ahead and you, you find something for the first time and you think, wow, I've been working on this for so long. And then eventually that could actually help someone, could lead to someone or lead to a, a cure in cancer or lead to improvements in burn injuries. And uh, that's what we try and do in the nanotechnology lab here at UWA. So my name's Tristan Clemens and I'm a research scientist here at the University of Western Australia and I work in nanotechnology. Nanoscience is a really interesting field to be working in because in reality we've only just had the instruments in the last sort of 60 to 80 years to be able to see down to the nanoscale. And the nanoscale is so small, it's one billion times smaller than a metre. So if you think about a metre being about here, one billion nanometres are between my hands at the moment. And that's an amazingly small scale to be working on and things have different properties when they're on that scale. The way materials react with each other is different, the way they react with light is really different as well. And uh, it's cool to be able to work on that scale and start discovering things that people haven't looked at before and that's, that's what attracted me to nanotechnology. The nanobio lab that I work in here at UWA, we're looking all the time at, at applications of nanotechnology and ways we can improve drug delivery for example. For, for diseases and injuries that might be occurring in our world and, and uh, it's a really neat place to be working because I get a good, di uh, good balance between some of the chemistry and some of the biology of, of different injuries and diseases. Uh, and so for us it's quite different from what we work on here in the bench to then maybe getting into a hospital, it's a sort of a, a 10 to 12 year pipeline for some of that. Uh, and it takes a long time and obviously a lot of money to go through the clinical trials to get there. But it's quite exciting to be at the cutting edge, the, the very start of that. And now uh, we've got some of our work which is progressing now into animal models and hopefully can start to work towards uh, clinical trials. For me that would be the ultimate, to be able to sit back and know that something is now on the shelf helping patients and, and I had a hand in starting that, that would be fantastic. Some of the things I'm most proud about is probably some of the publications and some of the, the real success stories from our research. Uh, we've had some real successes in our cancer treatment work, we've had some real successes in our wound healing work with the Fiona Wood Foundation and, and being, being, getting recognised for that in publications but also seeing an outcome for that, seeing that this could actually translate into the clinic and then be helping people, that's what drives me every day and it's really nice to see that some of my work has, has started to make that progression.